to our Across the Strait! Hello, it's Jeremy here from Streets Alive Yarra. In this video we're taking a look at Cremorne Community Inc. and their trial of temporary pedestrian crossings in Cremorne. Let's take a look. Uh, good afternoon, I'm Gary Shadforth. I'm part of the Cremorne Community Inc. and we're here to explore the idea of making the streets safer by including pedestrian crossings that we feel should be here that aren't to slow the traffic down to make the streets safer and to make the neighbourhood more friendly to not only pedestrians but traffic that can be calmed and slowed and made more uh, friendly to the local community. The temporary pedestrian crossings were installed using stencils and spray chalk which is a typical method for tactical urbanism. Crossings were installed on Balmain Street and on Cremorne Street. Cremorne residents were invited to test the pedestrian crossings and give their feedback. Oh, good morning, my name's Alan. I've been a resident now of Cremorne for 21 years and seen it grown and the amount of high rise that's going around here, that's around 10 storeys, and the increase in foot traffic is unbelievable. Therefore, we need some more pedestrian crossings around the place to try and control the flow. So that's my opinion. Please bring it on, Council. Yes, look, I'm highly supportive of anything uh, like this. Traffic is terrible in Richmond and anything that uh, alleviates that for local residents is long overdue and uh, very welcome. The pedestrian crossings received plenty of smiles and thumbs up. Hi, I'm Councillor Edward Crossland and I'm really excited to be with the community today having a chat about how we can do things differently with our streets, looking at temporary interventions and what we can do longer term to make streets better places for people. Hello Councillor Landis, why are you here today? I'm here today to support the residents of Cremorne who are demanding more greater priority for pedestrians on the road spaces in the precinct. How did you feel with the temporary crossings that we installed? I think they're great, I think it's a fantastic initiative and I think it demonstrates very clearly that there's a, a need for uh, that pedestrian uh, priority and that cars can understand that maybe pedestrians have a greater say on the road space than themselves. How do you think uh, walking, cycling and driving is going to change in Cremorne uh, over the next 10 years? I think it's a very contested space already um, and I think there is a demand to try and sort of uh, increase, as I said, priority for the pedestrians and for cyclists and uh, maybe sort of soften or soften the, the sort of presence that cars have in the space. And do you have any message that you would like to say? Oh, just well done on the residents of Cremorne on this initiative. I think it's fantastic. Go. Uh, if you're a local and you live in Cremorne or work in Cremorne, then we do have a petition running. We did have um, crossings further up the street in Cremorne Street that have been removed, that were temporary crossings, which were very successful in calming the street and the traffic and making it safer. And we think it would be appropriate to reintroduce some of these crossings. Thanks to Cremorne Community Inc. for hosting the event. Do you like our advocacy work? If so, show your support by tapping the like button, subscribing to our channel, and volunteering to be a champion for your local street or neighbourhood. If you can, consider donating using the Buy Me A Coffee feature on our website. Till next time, travel safe!